And now on business news making headlines, plans are underway to have the Capital Markets Authority take over operations at the Nairobi Coffee Exchange. Cooperative Cabinet Secretary Simon Chalegui says under the new reforms at the Nairobi Coffee Exchange, farmers will have more seats on the board on the Nairobi Coffee Exchange. The government is seeking more control of the Nairobi Coffee Exchange through a restructuring of the auction. Currently, the auction's board is dominated by marketers, a situation that the government feels has exposed the auction to price fixing. Are there any barriers to block maybe our marketing and the worldwide market? Or are we free to join tomorrow to any market we may desire? There is a need to liberate that Nairobi Coffee Exchange from exporters, traders, to a farmer-driven Nairobi Coffee Exchange. The government is also seeking to create more seats for farmers on the board of the Nairobi Coffee Auction. Coffee, 85% of coffee produced in this country uh, is done through cooperative societies. And hence, we must have a stake in the Nairobi Coffee Exchange. When you do this, I can assure you, Chair, that you're going to see the farmer taking home not less than 150 shillings. It is possible, we have done the maths, and we have seen that it is possible for a farmer even to go home with more than 150 shillings. He says the Capital Markets Authority will continue licensing marketers and traders at the Nairobi Coffee Exchange, a role that was previously performed by the Agriculture and Food Authority. When we feel the pain and pinch through the farmers, we have no way through policy of intervening in uh, managing the Nairobi Coffee Exchange. One way of addressing it, as suggested by the Honourable Member, is through a cabinet memo drawn by the cooperative uh, ministry in the seek concurrence and support so that we move that unit to cooperative uh, ministry and be able to now provide administrative and uh, an oversight role. Benson Ruba reporting for Lunchtime News.